Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, where should I be in my relationship after one year? Now this is a really good question, and a lot of people are fearful of asking this question because they don't want to come across like they're they're too eager and they're jumping the gun on where they are in their relationship. They don't want to scare their partner off. But after a year, you really should know where you're progressing to. Now, if you're seeing somebody on a regular basis, you're staying overnight, you've met the families, you've maybe done a holiday or two together, you're in a committed partnership that is worthy of understanding where you're going to be in the next phase of your life with this person. Pretending that it's not a big deal to you or, oh, we'll just see what happens down the road, it's it's not really the way you want to go because you don't want to sit there and say to yourself, well, what if they don't have any desire to be in a marriage, marriage situation or living common law or having kids or all these other things that go along with the relationship after a year, two years? You should have had the discussion by now, or at least, you know, getting to the point of talking about things that may happen down the road together or things that you're both interested in happening together. A year is a long time today. People date for like one or two dates and it's over. So if you're, if you're committed to somebody and you're seeing them regularly for an entire year, you both should be at the place where you feel connected. You also feel that you're able to have these talks with each other because it's kind of a natural timing uh, on being able to do this. You shouldn't have to sit there and feel like you're uh, afraid to sort of speak up because you're going to lose them. If you've got that happening in your relationship after a year, you're probably not at the same place in, in your established partnership. They're probably not as serious as you are or they're afraid to talk about it. That could be as well. A lot has to do with your age as well. If you're young, you're millennial, and you've got your career ahead of you, you're just getting things going, well, that's a different story. But there's a lot of people that are hanging around for five to seven years, and they're still not committed. And then all of a sudden you break up and you're in your mid-30s and you're wondering what the heck's happened. Like, why did we not have the talk? Because you feel there's so much time to have that talk. It goes by so fast. And even if you think you're coming across pushy, after a year wanting to know if there's a future, if there's anything that you have in common for your future, it's really important that you feel okay to be able to ask this. If you're not at that stage with them, then I would say that you're probably not in, on the same page. Now this isn't important to everybody. Some people just want to have a casual sort of relationship. They don't want to get married. They don't want to have kids. They don't want to live together. That's cool. But each of you needs to know that. If you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and you're, and you're dating somebody for a year to two years, you want to know there's a future. Because you're not sitting here just dating for the hell of it anymore. You're looking for a partner. You want a committed partnership with somebody. You want to be able to build goals together, maybe buy a house together. But if you're not talking about it, you're never going to know. So I think in your heart, you know where you should be after a year. If you're asking this question, then you might not be at a place that's sort of an equal zone with, with who you're with. I don't think anybody should have to sit and, and worry about it for three to five years because they're afraid to bring it up. Ask the questions. I would say within the first three to six months, you need to know at least if they have same values and things as you do. If they want to get married, they want to have kids, where they want to live, all those things. You need to be on a very similar page with that or it's just going to cause friction. You're going to have conflict you know, down the road two to three years later when you could figure it out now. So ask the questions and find out where you stand with your partner. There's nothing wrong with that, especially after you've been together for 365 days. You have every right to know where they want to be and where you want to be with each other as a couple. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave your comments. I really like to hear what people think about these things because there's so much room to help others when they come to these videos just by some of the comments below here. It really adds to the video and I appreciate you taking the time to do so. Thanks everyone. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.